What is this? Got <laughs> <laughs> myself. Oh my god! Starting off this episode with an epic three day adventure of fishing out here at Dundee Beach, which is about 150 kilometers west of Darwin. Up here with mum, dad, and my younger brother Owen. We're gonna be hiring a boat from Fishing Dundee. I'll put it in just below. It's about $450 to $500 a day. It has full inclusive gear. All you have to do is bring your own rods and reels, or you can hire them for about 50 bucks as well. We'll be staying at the Dundee Beach Caravan Park here, which is about $150 a night just for a cabin, and the cabins are absolutely amazing. Check out that sunset, mate. One of the best places in Australia for sunsets here, I reckon. We're going out for three days. We're gonna see if we can catch tuna, Spanish mackerel, snapper, see what stonkers we can get. Let's go. Tuna just here, just there. I'm on, I'm on. Come on. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, did I get shark? No way. I think you did. Oh. Nah, I lost it. I oh, know, I'm still, I oh, know, it's still tuna. Still tuna. Hey, what is this? Uh, running. Oh, this is going to be a stonker of a tuna. And if I get it in the net, then someone's going to help me pull it up. <laughs> Team effort. <sighs> It's just here, it's just here. Ready? Oh, no, in, get it. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that! <laughs> nice, mom. Wow. How is that bad boy? Go, on, go. You got one? Go! Go on your first tuna. Yeah. Let's go. You see it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's hot. Oh, so it's going to come. Funny. So it'll do that when it comes to the top. So just hold on to it. Good stuff, eh? That's what you want to do. It's pretty big. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, head your rod down. Yes. Just yeah. grab it by the hand, Owen. Grab it by the hand. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. I can't feel my hands. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Yeah. 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 Bye bye. Right here, absolute cracking start to the morning. Uh, day one here out at Dundee Beach. We're about 35 kilometers northwest out in the ocean. Uh, today we've got mum, dad, and my younger brother Owen on board. We're going to be fishing for tuna, Spanish mackerel. We're going to see if we can get some dewies um, and some kingfish because they're on in season at the moment. Yeah, so basically all we've done is we've gone through a company called Fish Dundee Boat Hire. Um, there's a few companies that do it up here. I think another big brand is uh, Why Not? Uh, it's about $450 to $500 a day. You get the boat and everything included. And Owen's on for his first fish. We've only pulled up about two minutes ago. Um, but as I said, you can hire your rods, crab pots, um, and then you can also get cast nets as well. We were going to go up the Finnis River today, but it's all the there's a lot of mud. Look at that! What have you got, Owen? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the start. It's called a cod straight off the bat. Anyways, I want to get into it. Let's have some fun. Hope you enjoy. What are you calling? What are you calling? Another cod. Another cod. Please be a stripe. You will need some bait. Hey, we got some bait. So these fish that we're catching here are called stripies. They're really, really good for bait, and we usually don't throw them back because then they start attracting sharks. Um, and as we know, sharks take our fish. So we basically just fillet them up, cut them, and then we'll put them on a, like a on a size seven hook because they're the hooks that we're using. Um, and I'll show you how we put them on in a second. So once we've got our little fillet here, we're literally just going to cut when it gets through. And we're just going to make little slices about that size. Just drop it. All right, and then we've got 
our size 7 hook here. See how they've got a bit of a lip? They're like a circle hook. And we're just going to go through once. Just like that. Just the once, and then it's going to dangle like this in there. That's the way to go. Holy yeah, she's a fighter. Still running around. Look at that tuna, baby. Oh! oh. oh. Jump in my little baby. Look at it. Yeah. Definitely not a little baby. Oh, nice, Owen. Nice! Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. That is good. Number two for the day. Yeah. Look at that. They're good looking fish, aren't they? Two. Number two. Number two, baby. I'm seeing some bird activity. So right now, we're having a fantastic time catching tuna. I just want to quickly show you how it's all done. So you basically, when you're out here on the water, you're looking for what's called bust-ups. And they're big rings of fish and birds diving into big areas of bait fish. And what you want to do is you want to fly over to them with the boat about 10 metres to the side of the left or right of them and throw it over the pod and bring your lure through it. We're just using three um, or four pound uh, lures, just silver ones, anything bright and shiny in the water. Um, and then as you saw, we've already caught two or three at the moment. We're just trying to get trying to get mum one. And while we're surrounded by about five or six bust ups sort of just going all around us, we've also got this line out here. Um, and we've got a similar setup and we're just trying to get some Spanish mackerel on that. Um, sort of while we're flicking out and having a crack. Oh oh Dad, if you don't catch a fish in this, oh look at this. Oh you on? Oh Good stuff. All right, Mum, are you on the mid points? Just let it run, let it run. Is it a snake? Remember it? Just let it run. Let it run. Good stuff. Good. Go, man. Woo! Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a <laughs> I just wanted to pop in real quick right here. I'm currently in Litchfield at the moment, but I forgot to add in that on one of the days we actually got a tour guide to take us out into the ocean there. Um, it was bloody expensive. It was like two and a half thousand dollars. And honestly, I don't really recommend doing that because we hired this one for a fraction of the price. We got the exact same quality of fish because on the GPS, it tells you all the waypoints and the locations where to go fishing anyway. So I thought I'd just quickly add that in there as a little heads up if you're thinking of paying the two and a half thousand dollars to get somebody to take you out. So halfway through our fishing for tuna saga, we stopped for lunch and changed our rig setups for bait and dropped them over the side whilst we ate. Well, let it, just let it, just let it, let it fight, let it fight, let it fight. But unfortunately, we ran into some bad luck and started catching just sharks. I have now. Yep. You mean sharks, Mum? No. Yeah, that's sharks. I had it. This shark that you're watching here took me about 45 minutes to reel in and was by far one of the toughest heaviest and longest catches I have ever had. Whatever it is, it is hot. It is massive. It was uh, about two metres down. Oh, oh shit! Oh, look at it go! It's coming! I can see it! Oh, oh yeah, I see it! Holy moly! Daddy, daddy's like oh, three, that was like a three or four meter shot. Right, so unfortunately we were going to head up to the Finnis River um, this afternoon, but we sort of misjudged the tides. It's about 2 p.m. at the moment. Um, it's down to about a 1.8 meter tide, so we're right on low tide. And as we're sort of heading into the, to the river mouth, we're getting into about 1.2, 1.3 metres of depth. And we don't really know these boats, so we didn't really want to risk it. So we're going to swing back around. We're going to go along the coast. and We're going to make our way up to a place called Stingray Point. 
um, and give that a crack and see what sort of fish we can get along there. We might even throw out some of the bar lures and see if we can have a crack at some of the saltwater barramundi. But let's see how we go. Do your drag up. You're not winding it in. I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> good, just hold it, just hold it. There we are, good stuff. What do you got there, Mum? A giant trevally. <laughs> a giant trevally. <laughs> So I just wanted to quickly show you guys um, sort of where we're going out from Dundee Beach today and where we're going to make our way. So Dundee Beach is just here and basically today we've been exploring all the way over here and up all these markers. And we're sort of just chilling out here because we went to go down the Finnis River, which was over here, but we couldn't get in as I just said. One of the really good things about the company that we're with, as I mentioned before, uh, is that they, with all the gear and everything, they actually give you all the waypoints um, and it also tracks exactly where you go, so it's already all done for you. And on a day like this, I'll just show you. It is just so good. Absolutely zero wind, no swell. It's like glass water. You could be water skiing out here. If it wasn't for the sharks and crocs, you'd be bait. That's about it. How good? Yeah, it's a shark. Man! Did you see it? I was concentrating on the tuna and get his body. Nah, it's just the way it's going. It's like doing the head. Oh, oh, it's muscles. Shark, isn't it? Muscles. <laughs> Double hookup. Are oh, we both on sharks? Yeah. How do you feel, uh, being shark there, Mum? <laughs> shark bait. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, look at that. Quiet. Oh, you got a queenie! Oh. Holy moly! That is monstrous! <laughs> what the hell is that? That is monstrous! I didn't know queenies could get that food. How do you feel? Awesome. Oh. Yep. Oh, Dad, that's that's not a bloody fish, mate. <laughs> shark got it? You mean shark, Mum? Oh, it's a shark. It's a shark, Dad. Oh, Mum. That's what it's all. Dad's got a stonker. What is it? What are you calling it? Another shark. Dad. What are we calling? Nice. Good call. Ooh. What is it? Another snapper, Dad. Don't get sharked. Don't get sharked. Oh, keep okay, going. Oh, you. Quick, quick. Quick. Go. Shark got him. Shark's gone. Ah, oh. oh, you've been sharked, big fella. <laughs> Damn shark. Don't let the shark Don't let the shark out. Nice. What'd you get, Mum? Nice. nice Woo. Oh, I did it. Oh, nice. Oh, yep. Yep, that's oh no. It felt big originally. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Ah, it's another card. Come on. Come on again. Ah, feels like another bloody card. Chavali. Let's go again. You're on one. Another Chavali. Woo! Oh, easy hooker for you. Nah, no way. Come on. Ah, it's not big. Another cod. Another one. So, Mum, out of ten, how much fun have you had the last couple of days and what was your favourite part? Uh, I would say eight out of ten because I didn't get my pina colada. <laughs> it's been fun trying to play pulling in the fish. Um, and the weather is fantastic. And what was your sort of favourite fish to catch? Today was the trevally. That was definitely a big fighter. Very good. Very nice. And Dad, how much fun have you had out of 10? Have you had a good time? Yep, eight out of 10. Another eight out of 10? Yep. Why only eight? A few stressful moments on board. <laughs> and what was your favourite fish to catch? Um, probably the, the cobia yesterday. Oh yeah, that was a big that one. Was Good fun. And what about the 45 minutes of tuna that we're trying to catch and they're all around here and you still couldn't get one? <laughs> it's biting right as you come in. Righto, we've got the fishing king here of the trip. Out of 10, how much fun have you had in terms of fishing? Probably a 9 out of 10. Whoa, why could it have been a 10? Uh, probably a bit rough this morning. It so, was a bit rough yeah. this morning. Yeah, and what was your favourite fish to catch out of all of them? Definitely the queenie. That was a big two meter thing. queenie. Yeah, yeah. two meters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sweet. And what about catching your first tuna ever? Oh, look at this. We're on. What are you calling it? Oh, oh, you lost, lost it. it. What'd you say? The tuna fishing. Yeah. How's yeah, that, that was fun. That was intense moments. They were intense and, moments. Uh, yeah, very fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, there you have it. Everyone has had an absolute cracking time out here at Dundee Beach in the top end of Australia fishing. Highly recommend it. All you have to do is fly into Darwin, get a hire car, hire a boat, and mate, the world is yours in terms of fishing. Some of the fish that we've been catching out here have just been prehistoric and absolutely massive. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we're gonna be heading over to Litchfield and Kakadu National Park, and we're gonna be exploring all the locations there and having just as much fun. So stay tuned. Number two. Number two, baby. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God